What's up everybody? Welcome back to another episode of Gunfish TV. I want to thank you for tuning in to my channel today. I appreciate it very much. If you're not already subscribed, be sure to hit that subscribe button and hit the notification bell as well so you do not miss out on any of my upcoming content. So on today's video, I have a really, really good video for you all. Me and my buddy Ryan, we headed out to the Nottaway River to go and do some bass fishing. Now he had his championship tournament, his classic tournament coming up for his club and he was second place in the points and he wanted to try to find some good fish and he wanted to be able to do good in his tournament as well so we went out we went searching and found some fish in the end we really fished really really hard trying to find out the bite and it was kind of tough to figure out i'm not going to lie but right at the end we did find a decent group of fish and he ended up doing pretty good in his tournament as well so be sure to watch the video all the way through and i'm going to let you all know how he did how much weight he had and how he caught them so we're going to go ahead and get right into the video i really appreciate y'all watching let's get to the action do is we're going to start on this side fish this side down around the bend see and then come up on the flat figure out whether they're in the deeper water on the flat and then we'll jump over on this inside too and try that but i'm gonna start off probably throwing the buzz bait water temp is 62.3 so it came up even just that little bit as we came down it came up more than half a degree so all righty i'll get a sip of my drink let's see if we can catch some fish Drop this trolling motor. So the air temp was what, low 40s? Yeah. I think the air temp's like 42 right now. But water temp 62. I'm gonna start off with a buzz bait. I'm actually gonna tie a black buzz bait on before I even start casting. I want a black buzz bait. So we'll start off with that and we're gonna see if we can catch some fish. Should the bike should be pretty good today, but the water is standing dead still right now. Like there is no water moving at all, even though it's very clear. It's almost clearer than normal. But looks like it might be a little dirtier down here, actually. For some reason. Not bad, but at the ramp it was real clear. We get this buzz bait tied on. Alright, so Ryan's starting off with a chatterbait. I'm gonna start off with the old black buzz bait we're gonna see if we can get bit get us a fish in the boat yeah oh fish boat right there Not even a nibble yet. Oh, there we go. Big I mean a monstrosity. Got him on what the Cinco? Yeah. Weightless Cinco. Texas rig. Yeah, he's a little guy, but he is number one. Got him off. Ryan scored number one. Big. Number one, old giant. I'm gonna go down and hit these outside trees right here, flip along them and see if the fish are set up on the trees. 
try to figure out some kind of pattern to go with that fish there was on wood that is that is the first bit of wood we've kind of come across any type of limbs or lay down or anything in the water so we're gonna keep on and see what we can do Good. oh no dude i've got thump i mean straight it, it is dude i mean i got straight thump dude yep how in the world did i miss that fish felt like when i set the hook like i hit him in the hard part of the mouth is what it felt like is he on it yep he bit yours too did he Yep, so he just cleaned Ryan. There he is, he's on it. Got him. Look, he just spit your Cinco out. There he is, that's a chunk too. So I got thumped by this bass. He stole Ryan's Cinco and spit that out. And there we go. First fish for me of the day. Pretty one, that sucker was hungry. All the, I mean, he bit three times in a row. Got a little something down there on his fin. I don't know what that is. A little you paras parasite or something. He's a nice one, but he's not a keeper. He's not a keeper. He's not a keeper because they got to be 14 inches. Um, and let's see, he's probably 13 something. We'll check him just to see kind of what we're working with. Yep, he's 13, just over 13 inches. But solid fish. First one for me. Thank you, bud. Man, that fish was hungry. So soft plastic is the deal right now. Looks to be anyway. All the moving baits and top water and stuff we threw and didn't get a single bite. And this water starting to move too, which is a huge factor. And that could change the top water bite too. I mean, that could make them start biting just in general oh gosh got thump what is that that's a pipe oh uh oh ryan's on doubled up different species but we're doubled up there we go hey we're figuring something out we are figuring something out get my pliers on this guy There he goes. Hey, not bad. Not bad. He chewed my line up. I got to retie, but. We're doing all right. Ryan, that bass is probably, was he 12 inches? Might have been 12 inches. What is it? Got gotcha. you. There's one. Up there now. You talk about shallow now. That dude was shallow. He was up there by that uh by that stump. Now when they're biting, they are not playing. I mean I come up and he had thumped it. And was gone to the side. I was looking at the crankbait that Ryan's tying on. Little teeny guy, we just gotta get some better size. But we all catch some fish at least. But these fish are shallow. I mean, got a fairly good stretch right here of that kind of stuff that I just flipped up to. I was getting ready to pack it up so we could roll, but. I mean, I came up, he thumped it and was gone with it. I mean, they all thumping it when they're biting it. All right, let's move on down the river a little bit. See if we can get some solid fish in the boat. Some old bigs. Yes, sir, here we are. Now we should be able to catch some fish in here. I certainly believe. 
throw up on this point to start off with. I'm gonna throw the, uh, throw the trick worm up there. Texas rig, trick worm. See if we can get a bite. Got old plum up there. Yeah, yeah. So we're gonna work our way down into this creek and we're gonna fish down in it. Got a lot of good stuff to flip, throw top water, do whatever we want. We're gonna fish down in here and hopefully get into some good fish. But we're gonna fish this mouth right now. Make sure we didn't know fish set up at the, at the mouth of it on this point. Caught some fish right here on the big rig one day. Really? Oh yeah. Oh yeah. They'll get right here. Oh. Little guy. Oh, look at that raccoon perch. <laughs> oh, raccoon perch. That's old hand spiner. Yes, sir. Is what he is. There you go. Raccoon perch, get on back in there. Now I take a mess of them for the freezer. Them suckers taste good. Yeah, just got over over here on the side and got bit kind of quick, so maybe maybe that means something. I don't know. It went a little while without a bite, and ooh, that rage bug is in pretty bad shape. We're gonna get a new one on here, but we're gonna fish around this bend, and it comes up on a flat on that side. And the fish we were catching earlier was shallow, so we're going to fish this bend and come up on that flat. And if we don't hit anything kind of quick, we're going to get the heck out of here and go explore some new water. I don't know. That's a decent one. Pump back. Yeah, that's a, that's a keeper. Yep, that's a keeper. Flipped up there right under that bush right there, and he, that's a chunky one. Yep. There you go. Pretty little bass. Get in there. Flipped up under that tree, and when I come up, he was gone. He about set the hook in himself. Tell you what, Ryan, let's go get on some trees. There's fish in here for sure, but there's consistency just ain't here that I want to really see. TH Marine. Toughest motor trolling motor. Yeah, look, the whole cable just broke. Whole cable broke. Look at that. Lord have mercy. How you looping? That's what I'm at to do. Dad, gum. That ain't no good. I just had to pull up on the damn thing like that. Almost sent me flying. All right, well, we got a temporary fix on this. Got it, tied a knot on it, got it where we can use it for the rest of the day, but I'm going to get another one or send them an email or something because that, uh, that cable straight up broke. I mean, it's not rusty or anything, so I've definitely seen that happen to other people before. Man, it feels like the air temps are dropped by 10 degrees. All right, we come back here in another pocket. I'm going to pick up the frog, and I'm going to try to get a doggone top water bite. The water temp in here is 61 point something. So, I don't know. We're going to try to get one. Might get one, might not. The fishing has been tough. I mean, tough, tough. So maybe the frog can pull me one up. Have not had one bite on top water, not even a roll, nothing. No. Nothing at all. Ooh. 
Ooh, I thought one had blown up on it. I knew I was wrong. Waffle plop is good at catching. Oh god, there he was. I was gonna say waffle plop is good at catching trees and fingers. That's what. Well, darn if I ain't just get a bite on the frog. Yeah, go for it. See if he'll bite that thing. Oh, Ooh, there we go. What'd you get him on? Speed crawl. Dude, way, way back in there. That fish was up there literally in inches of water. I mean, he hit that thing like like a frog. I, yeah, I won't show what you were throwing. Mr. B. Yep. Man. <laughs> we fished hard, y'all. Don't think we hadn't. I mean, we 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 started off at light this morning pretty much, and it's uh 150. There's not been a lot of fish catching in between. Had that little flurry early this morning, and it has been very tough. Oh God. Yeah, I don't know if he was swirling on my bait. He was on. What is it a black fish? Oh no. No, not a black fish. <laughs> no, that's bad when a black fish is the highlight of the day. Oh, nasty sucker. Yeah. You bit that rage, bud. Oh, where are my pliers at? Back there with you. Let's see if I can get him off without getting a darn bath. That's the worst part about it. Ah, there we go. Well, worked hard for him. <laughs> he was up there in no water too. I mean, no water at all. Man, I thought when I set the hook, I thought I'd maybe finally set the hook in something decent, but. He took off at the one at He did, he did, he was gone. Darn it. Got that one. Oh my goodness. <laughs> my dude there On is tiny. Mr. Big. Oh, hey, it's a fish day. It's a fish. Maybe it's a future eight pounder. We don't know. There he is. Yep. Another solid one. Hey, we might have said we ain't figured out nothing, but we might have figured it out right here at the end. Yep. Heck yeah, because I had got bit a couple casts, you know, a couple casts ago up there. Mm -hmm. What'd you catch him on? Speed crawl? Nice. Well, we might have figured out a little something right here at the end. I'll take that. Put a couple fish in the boat salvage today a little bit because yeah. things were feeling pretty dim about 15 minutes ago.
There he is. Oh! Yeah, that was a decent fish there. Man, hey, he was swimming out with it big time. Well, that was a that was a nice fish, y'all. Just lost right here. Flipped up there and come out. And that fish was actually in a little bit of water. He was out off the bank. I come up and it was just like slack line and I kept reeling and reeling and reeling. So, so these fish, I think the well, they were in a good area, but I think the bites kind of picked up too. Yeah. But really no way of knowing that without being in the in the river, but hey. That's a good sign. We're gonna fish right up here to this bend right here and we're gonna call it quits because I'm gonna go get up in a tree stand this evening. See if I can get me a deal. But we figured out a little something right here towards the end. Come back in this pocket. We've gotten right many bites and missed some fish, caught some fish. So I think we kind of figured out where Ryan's gonna come first thing in the morning, which his tournament's what, today is Tuesday, and your tournament's Saturday? Sunday. Sunday. Okay, so they're still gonna be here, but the water temp is definitely gonna drop some before he gets here. We're thinking it's probably gonna be mid, maybe even mid 50s, possibly, with the cold nights and all we have coming, but these fish will still be here. They should be on the same bite, and we've also, you know, talked about a couple different ways probably can catch him as well but he's probably gonna have some competition in here with him but that's all right it is plenty of fish in here plenty just got to get the right bites oh my Whew. i didn't think that was gonna come out Come a fly. There he is. Oh, there he is, too. Nice one. Biggest of the day, baby, right there on the last flip of the day. I will take it. Hey, definitely think you should come in here. I think this is going to be the right move. No giants, but that's a solid fish. If you can get four of them and then get a big one, four fish. plus pounder, you'll be in good shape. All right, thank you, bud. Hey, turn the day around. I'm going to end it on that. I'm going to end it on a good note. Maybe this afternoon in the tree stand, I can end it on a good note too. He thumped it. I mean, he thumped it when he bit it. He was not playing. Yep, that is it for me. Turned out to be a halfway decent day. We How many bass did we put in the boat here? Four or five? In here? In here? At least four or five. Yeah, and lost, lost another one right at the boat and all. I'll take it. I will take it. We're going to pack everything up, get this thing on the trailer. And uh, it was tough. It was tough, but we we fished hard. Did the best we could do, and we thought we hadn't figured out anything, but we figured out a little something. That's why you fish hard. There's always some fish to be caught and a group of fish that'll bite, so. Take it to the house. All right, well, as y'all could see, we fished really hard throughout the day and we got right in that last area, that last pocket, and we ended up finding a decent amount of fish. Now, he did end up going in there and catch some fish, but he did catch some fish on the main river on a spinnerbait as well because it was really, really windy on the particular day that he fished his classic, but he ended up finishing second place. He had 11.35 pounds, somewhere in there. And he, I think he fell like one or two points short of winning his championship in his club. So he was very, very close, but he did good in the tournament, found some feeding fish out on the main river, out on some flats on a spinnerbait, and he caught some fish in that pocket 
as well first thing in the morning so congrats to him he did really good and i knew he would he's a really good fisherman so uh, i was just glad to be able to go and me and him get out on the water because we really don't get to fish together that much so anyway if you enjoyed this video hit that subscribe button and i will see you next time on gunfish tv